Hey, what's going on folks? This is Dimitri back again on this. Um, it's a rainy day around here, so I don't know if it's sunny or sunshine uh, on your end. And it's uh, here was Labor Day, so it was a weekend for uh, folks in the United States. So um, congratulations if you are here. If you're not, well, uh, welcome to my stream. I uh, basically in this video we're gonna talk about uh, HELOC, my um, um, experience with that, my like, just how I went through that, and all sorts of uh, things involved with that. So those are going to be a prime example, so that you uh, can and have this uh, first time, like first experience, so from right from the person who actually went through that. And uh, yeah, it was um, it was actually a challenge to go through that, like uh, for um, uh, for me living here for some reason. So. Uh, I don't know what was the reason, to be honest, behind it, but uh, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't a pleasant. Um, it wasn't a pleasant. Well, it was. It wasn't a like easy ride, but you know, it was a. It was a fight a little bit. It was a fight a little bit. So anyway, so yeah, let's get started. Really, so uh, HELOC. What is HELOC, guys? So why is it important? Why is it? Or what you can eat with it? Like eat with it, and uh, what is it called? Why is it called like that? And uh, what is it about? So. HELOC in general, uh, it's a it's, uh, uh, acronym stands for Home Equity Line of Credit. So uh, basically, as you as you can see, it uh, involves homes, involves real estate, <laughs> and uh, a lot uh, with that. So, um, well, what is Home Equity Line of Credit really? So a lot of uh, so even though it's acronym, uh, there's another like if you expand acronyms might not be understandable for some people folks so even it was for me it wasn't it wasn't clear for me what was like full equity line of credit even that you know um but yeah even with that so home equity line of credit is basically a credit right so uh, and uh, a lot of folks that i've experienced and i've watched youtube for as well so uh, a lot of folks comparing that as a credit card right so a lot of folks go it's like for simplicity and understanding so and that was really a good uh, uh, analogy for me uh, as to like what is it what is to be well like why what, how to use a word what to use it so and things like that so it really and it's uh, almost works works uh, the same way as a credit card so not not necessarily 100% uh, same but um, uh, it's sort of the idea is that so you know you you get your money you spend it and then you pay interest on the ones the things you spend so you know the on the on the amount you, so you spend so that's pretty much the easy uh, explanation on that but uh, what's the difference um, like the interest like the question pops into like hey what's the difference between credit card and HELOC right <clears throat> well um, there are a couple of them. So, for example, uh, HELOC, uh, as it stands for Home Equity Line of Credit, or like even you know, Line of Credit, or basically credit, uh, it's backed up, first of all, it's backed up by uh, your current uh, primary residence, uh, right? So, you basically, as you live in a house, and that's the reason you want to buy a house, one of the reasons, you know, so that you can have access to these tools such as HELOC. So, and uh, you're basically, yes, uh, you live in the house. So one of the difference is that it's backed up by your house, right? Not only by your credit score. So, and the, um, the plus or advantage behind it is that you get more money, right? So, and uh, why is that the reason? Is because it's backed up by your uh, equity in your house. So uh, that's one big reason. So. Obviously, uh, second re uh, reason is that you can spend much more money and that can be used for uh, down payments and, um, well, you can use credit card for repairs and everything, but uh, it doesn't give you, uh, you only can use it. So for credit cards, for example, you can use only a credit card, right? You just do the, do the swipe, do the chip, do whatever. Uh, uh, NIC or whatever near uh, infra communication thing with the credit card there. So it's basically you need to use a credit card itself 
or utilize the money or i mean you can do cash advance uh it's also possible but there's like a ridiculous uh, percentage about it and stuff like that so uh there's that <clears throat> but uh the in heloc situation you can actually uh withdraw that money you know like there is no like sort of in the cash sort of like a cash advance situation but you don't really uh pay any different percentage thereof so you pay it's like the same uh same amount really uh well yeah the same sort of same amount as you have as you would usually withdraw and things like that so that's another different third difference and it's not really uh advantage i guess it's not really advantage from that perspective uh but um, it can be so depending on the rate and everything but you usually uh, can uh, withdraw the money and the money that the interest that you accumulate if you don't pay it on time or like a statement basically cycle. Uh, if you use a credit card, you will know it. There's gonna be a statement cycle on everything, every month. So you will see that um, the percentage that you owe will be very high. So it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be like, hey, uh, locked apr or whatever and then you will use the same amount uh or the same interest so for example five percent per year whatever so it will not be like that it will be average every every, every day it will be different amount uh based on the rate that the irs provided or oh, not the irs the Fed, but, but federal service provided and things like that. so those are three major differences that i um noticed and i uh, as i went through this process i uh, experienced that so um and that's pretty much the big three big three reasons why like credit cards the difference between credit cards as well as uh, from the heloc process itself right <clears throat> well uh you would say well d why would you get the heloc in the first place can't you use the credit card for like purchasing houses or things like that uh, or do the down payment or anything like that. Uh, interestingly enough, I spoke with a mortgage professional about it and he told me that it is a no. Uh, you cannot use the credit card for the down payment. Uh, I don't know if uh, he told me the truth or not, but uh, that's what he told me. Um, I don't remember the name of the company, but I definitely can say that he told me that the credit card is not uh available for down payments uh, you can use it obviously for construction so work with the contractor that you guys use if they pre accept the credit cards obviously if they don't well um well there is no there is no so yeah so this is pretty much the advantage of the one of the strategies and advantage and one of the strategies that you can use to purchase a house and that's what I'm gonna use for my, in my specific situation, it was working, it would be working much, much better. Even though like my original plan was to go with the house hack, is that you live in one house, um, fix it up, move to another one, fix it up. Well, obviously rent the, uh, the old one out, then move to another place, fix it up. Obviously as I live there, fix it up move to another place, rent the old one out. So it's kind of like that, build, build in the kind of snowball effect, so to speak. Uh, in this situation, what's gonna happen is that I basically get the money. Um, I got the money from here, just like a couple of days out. So uh, it's already out of the sign everything. But then uh, you're getting the money and then you put the down payment from that money and then you fix it up if it needs to be fixed up and then you move in the guy or girl or whatever so uh, the tenant and then obviously you uh, rent it out and then if you do the percentage right the calculations right so they pay the HELOC as well as the mortgage right and you know, utilities or whatever and maintenance fees and things like that so I hope that guys um, tell you what the HELOC is about uh, I know it's not really deep it's not really uh, into numbers it's not what you might be expect to or like hey uh i need more i need uh, like in-depth information so for some reason so for me uh as i was looking for it it wasn't really uh, like 
I get the technicality of things, I like it, but for some reason it's sometimes it's too much and for me it was too much, bad, but for, like in my, my mind is <laughs> better to communicate like in a general idea, okay, so how is it better um, can be described in uh, simple terms and that's why uh, I hope you guys, uh, I relate the information well to you and then you uh, benefit from the video. So. Yeah, this is what Helix is about, uh, and that's what I'm going for, and um, I already almost got it. So uh, the experience-wise, I mentioned that I, it wasn't it was easy. The reason is because um, a lot of credit um, credit unions that I went for, uh, for some reason, they either don't like they sometimes fair. So army uh, or um, or army force, or the uh, folks that are in the, in the military. They, they were focused on that, on that market only. They weren't focused on the general market for some reason, so I don't know why. But anyway, I mean, there is like benefits and things. Uh, there another, uh, I went to a couple of other ones and they either don't respond too well or they, um, like you do application on the website, they say, oh, hey, why are you interested in buying a house or a mortgage? I was like, I'm not <laughs> interested in buying right now, but I'm interested in the, process that you have so it, it would take like even more time and then they would uh, say oh yeah so this is uh we don't like their, their documents we don't accept those documents we, even though they were, they were fine so and i was like well this is uh, weird uh so uh it's all of this to say is that uh don't give up guys so if you uh going for a HELOC if you want to get it you will get it it's not like it's only um you know uh, citizens are getting or green cards are getting or like people with a green card or anything like that so even like even you if a student in the United States you can get it so it's not like obviously if you have a house no. <laughs> so not mind, nonetheless so you can get through it you can get through the paperwork you can get through it so it's not stopping you in any way so it's just gonna take time so some people they do well some people they run quick 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 and fortunately enough I found that um, credit union like that so they really communicate the bull I guess if that's the word so they really fast on their response they're really fast on the, how they approach it like they, they fast they uh, are very uh, polite knowledgeable and everything so if you're interested let me know uh, in the comments below and I will reach out to you and then tell you like what's that what's the credit union was so it's not sponsored or anything like that so that's the reason I kind of like I'm just happy with the service that they provided because a lot of the a lot of credit unions go like oh no we don't like our our management doesn't allow that it's like dude I'm like I'm giving you business why don't you like uh, do that so anyway um, yeah so that was my experience uh, Helix is a very good tool if you then don't, ha don't have a house obviously unfortunately you won't be eligible for that tool. Uh, but if you get a house, you got a mortgage, you got already things going in that way. So that's a video uh, for you, obviously. And then um, if it helps you to build, like to help you to build more wealth. So that's a tool that can be used. Uh, and obviously this is a tool, but it needs to use properly. Obviously you're not gonna use the hammer uh, to hammer your, uh, you know, foot or whatever. So you get the hammer and nail. And that's why the HELOC is all specifically used for that specific reason, is to uh, hammer a nail and then nothing else, right? You know? <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about it. Uh, I'm very much happy to tell you all about my experience there and what the HELOC is about. Well, at least as far as I understood, through the process, through getting it done, through getting it, um, basically yeah processed and uh yeah it was a uh, uh, very much awesome experience so let me guys in the comments below so what you think uh and so like and subscribe down below so i uh, very much appreciate that it would be very i would be very very honored to be on your uh subscription list and uh, give you guys much more videos about uh how to like present the tools that you guys, you know, guys can use through and that, that I use through the real estate journey as well as the financial biblical financial perspective on things and how to build wealth and everything like that. So, yeah, that was Dmitri, and see you guys next time. Um, Dmitri is out. Ciao.